Yeah, completely heading in another direction right now. Now, today is World Tripe Day. Yes, there really is a day dedicated to eating tripe. Would you believe it? Now, with the recent trend of nose-to-tail eating picking up steam, it is no wonder that a day like today is actually being celebrated. Now, the idea is that if you kill an animal for food, you should make the most of it and consume all of the parts. Now, tripe, of course, is the uh, collective name for the, uh, the edible lining from the stomachs of various farm animals. But here to tell us a little bit more of the ins and outs of tripe, we have Drum Magazine food editor Hope Malau in studio to give us a rundown. Hope, how are you doing brother? Hey, I'm good. I'm cool good. man, and cool. All right, all right. This is yeah. interesting. This is officially my first time stepping into the kitchen mm -hmm. about to make tripe and learning about it, man. Wow. Yeah, it's cool. So I think before we even start with, you know, the, you telling us the cleaning process and the things that you need to know before you cook it, okay. why do you think people steer away from it? I mean, I'm, I'm one of those, I'm not, I'm not a big fan at all. I know why. Why? Because of the smell, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I won't lie, but I mean, it is. I mean, there's a pretty strong smell with, within yeah, the preparation yeah, process. Yeah. But then, uh, yeah, that's one of the things, the smell, uh, and then the other thing is the clean, to clean it. Okay. But if you, you can actually buy it in the shops right now, any shop, pick and yeah. pay shop, right? You, yeah. You'll get the, the, the clean tribe. Okay. But then there's also another way, if you buy from the shops, you need to do, the, there's, a, there's a certain way of actually, the first step yeah. that you need to take before you actually cook it. Okay, so, so talk us through it. I mean, there's, I know that there's a, quite a lot of preparation, mm -hmm. you know, that goes mm -hmm. into before mm -hmm. you can actually cook it. So firstly, what do we have here? Okay, this is sheep tripe. We call this honeycomb tripe. You see that? Okay. It looks like a honeycomb. Yeah. Yeah, that's called honeycomb tripe. Honeycomb tripe, yeah. okay. And then this is ox. You can see by the thickness of it. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, so this is ox tribe. Yeah. And then the difference actually with cooking this, the honeycomb tribe, especially when it's sheep. Yeah. You don't cook it as the same the same as the ox because Okay. Because it looks very thin yeah, compared to that one. Sure. So in other words, you spend at least about an a, a one and a half hour an, uh, yeah. an hour to two hours. Yeah, you have to spend two hours to three hours really? cooking. Really? Yeah. Okay. So so let's talk about the cleaning process, the preparation okay. process. Okay. What do you need to do when you get your tribe? What does it work? How does it work? Okay, let me show you with a honeycomb, yeah? Okay, cool. Ugh. So that's basically the stomach lining of the sheep? Yes. Okay. So what you so do that's... first, you put it on your cutting board, right? All right. If it's not clean, this is a cleaned one. It looks very nice, white, beautiful. Yeah. All right. Find a sharp knife or a hard brush that okay. you have at home, yeah. clean, and then you start scraping off all the dirt, okay. right? And then the other thing is to check under here, underneath, if there's any visible fat. Okay. Okay. Then you start just removing this fat out. Okay. So you want you don't you don't want any fat on there. Yeah. But then that's one of the reasons why people actually are afraid of eating because you know when when it gets cold, mm. it gets that solid fat on oh, it. Oh yes, yes. So yes, people yes. are actually thinking of how does it look whenever after digesting it, does that fat sit in your gut or whatever? Yeah. So that's one of the reasons why people, other people hate it. But then, yeah, you have to scrape it. Okay. And then take off the visible fat and the visible dirt in it. Yeah. And then you're good to go. Yeah. It's and a, then just, just before we, we need yeah. to wrap up here, but I mean, they say you also quickly rinse it in vinegar as well. Yes, is that yes. Just to make sure. Okay, the vinegar, actually you leave it for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And then take it off and then you rinse it in water a couple of times until you're satisfied. Okay. Okay, okay. and then you cut it up. If it's still bought, parboil it. For about 10 minutes in hot, uh, uh, in hot yeah, in boiling water. Yeah. In boiling water for 10 minutes, and then from there you drain it, and then you cook it again for another two hours. All right. Well, very, very interesting indeed, man. World Tripe Day. I had no <laughs> idea. But Hope is going to be sharing his uh, curry tripe recipe with us a little bit later on. If you yes. want to give this a try, you know, stick around. Hey, man, it might just tickle your fancy. Who knows? But uh, yeah, stick around. We'll be back in the kitchen in just a bit. Right now, though, from tripe back to our emotional talks.